morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Libra, and thanks for the invitation to share with you what Dr. Alexander, is about. talk to us about the programs uh, that are listed for this week. Take us through activities to mark International Museum Week. Thanks, Libra. Yeah, firstly, just to say that the theme that's going to underpin our program today is called uh, collections making connections and I think that's quite important as we celebrate International Museum Day not only locally but internationally and the program is quite varied looking at activities for different generations for the young and not so young across all our collections that is art social history and natural history and so we will have talks and we will have behind the scene tours as well as public lectures linked mm. to our collections at Ezekiel Museums of South Africa. Now how will it be different from previous years International Museum a day that is? Okay, the difference is uh, um, um, labor is actually the theme and I think the theme in a way also resonates with us as South Africans as we reflect on our road to democracy whilst also celebrating our, our, our freedom. And so by doing that, we look at what our road has offered us in terms of our democracy. We go to our past, but we also look at reimagining our future. So the difference is about making that connection with our collections, enabling people a deeper understanding of what museums are about, but also linking it to our theme where we also connect with one another as humans in South Africa and, and, as well as the rest as part of the international community. A couple of years ago, if not maybe two years ago, I did an interview of where the numbers of people visiting museums were, you know, dwindling. Is that still the case? What are we doing to call people back into museums? Well, I think the, what we are doing is to, to make sure that people understand that museums are actually a place of learning, a place of connecting, but also a place where they can just come and explore. So what we have done is we've, we've, we've changed the image of our museums so that it's a sense where there's a sense of curiosity, yes. a sense of wonderment, but also attracting young people to the museums. And so we, we, we've changed that image that it's just something about the old per se, that it's only about uh, dark stuff, but it's also about everyday topical things. Mm. And so we, we have encouraged young people and are encouraging young, encouraging young people to visit our sites. Okay, speak to us about the, you spoke about talks that will form part of uh, the, the day's activities. What are some of the key issues that will be addressed in these talks? Some of the key issues would be looking at, you know, we've spoken about our fossils and there will be talks about that. We will also be looking at our own biodiversity. We will also be looking at our art collections. But I think something quite exciting for the young where they will also be doing mock, mock fossil digs where the young will be able to go and and work within the sand and kind of identify the different bones um, 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 that are in, in that uh, dig. But also to me what's important is that people would be able to share their own stories mm. on, uh, as we celebrate International Museums Day. For you, what has been the best part of being part of this project and museums in general? I think for me the best part is there's this interaction with people with communities where we look at what is it that people want? What is it that makes people excited about museums? And through that, raise an awareness of the role of museums in our society. All right. Dr. Wayne Alexander, thank you so much for talking to us. He is the Director of Education, uh, Public and Programs at Eziko. For every object and exhibition at the museum, there are thousands more carefully stored away. This is International Museum Day theme is Museum Collection Make Connection. Demonstrates how museums are living institution that help create bonds between visitors, generations, cultures uh, around the world. Well, let's take a break. Stay with us.